Francisco.
I'm called Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Uh, this is Yuki, and we're going to play songs for you. Mostly because I'm monthly songs. And I know you all are internet savvy, so you might know what that is. That's racist, actually. I, I, maybe I shouldn't assume any. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I was trying to
again Can you find the frequency Where the specter hover with Probably could if you were really any good. You sold yourself a trope. Then the dollar broke. Hello again. Friends work nine to five, but really threw me off. Is that all these years I thought I'd work it out? Did you? Sing it like it is Cause you really thought it'd attack a man Cause your kids are growing up And you still don't make it Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> sci-fi. <laughs> you can't believe that it. it's like dystopian. There's there's one character who just he has this very strange addiction. His addiction is telling jokes at 11:35 <laughs> and being number one at it. And if he's not doing that, it seems like he has no purpose. <laughs> That's what he's programmed to do. <laughs> it was scary. It was scary. <laughs> and then it was about a human who tried to tell jokes at 11:35 and uh, make art. Really, yeah, true. And uh, he was less successful, but retained his soul. <laughs> I'm kind of giving away the end. <laughs> uh, but it was good. Uh, so we listen to books sometimes. We listen to music. We listen to podcasts. Um, curse the snow. <laughs> yeah. Curse the cold. Curse the broken vehicles. Um, you listen to you ever read the Late Shift, which is the, so it's the pre. It's, it's the, the so Bill part. Carter wrote the the Late Shift yes. first. Uh, we're gonna probably. I bet you will listen to that on the, by the end of the tour. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm excited about it. And, <laughs> and we were hypothesizing that uh, he had access to all because he apparently was had a source in every room that there was a conversation happening, and I think that everybody must have trusted him from the first go around yes. because he would seem pretty even handed. Yeah, even more so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, what podcast? Have you been it's been a narrow range so far because we, we, there have been so many things going on. We, we've gone through most of the new, the newish Invisibilia mm-hmm. podcast, which we really moved us to tears each in different, different moments. Uh, this American Life Radio Lab. Uh, we had a long lunch conversation disagreeing with Tim Walsh about cereal. Um, about cereal. Tim <laughs> <laughs> Walsh had some very interesting points. <laughs> not considered. He's a very intuitive dude. Um, yeah, just whatever. Uh, I haven't been, we haven't listened to grapes on the tree. Um, weirdly. But, uh, what's that? They say hey. What's that on uh, I'll see. I, I have a pending lunch date with one of those dudes. When I get back. Um, music. I can't remember. Fugazi, Erica Badu, <laughs> D'Angelo. <laughs> 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 yeah. Juan Del Rey. <laughs> Ricky Lee. Best so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, She's here, sorry. <laughs> I want to hear Lee Huey's heart more. I want to hear more. The production is sick, but I want to hear her like soul more. I think I'm just listening to her. I feel like I can hear it while I'm always so pretty cool. Uh, we listen to Shania Twain. Not ironically. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close to Iran. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't. Yeah. Well, uh, you don't impress me much. as not good. But just. That song don't impress me. No. That song gets you good. Like it. It makes me feel crazy. It changes my chemistry in a way that few songs do. Pre chorus into the chorus. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> you know another song that. Makes you feel like that. It's firework. Again, pre course and the chorus, it's undeniable. <laughs> it's so my eyes with tears, it's undeniable. <laughs> Again, robots versus humans. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is everything. <laughs> sometimes the humans win. You gotta win.
Thanks very much. So as I said before, these are all Bazan monthly tunes, almost all. And uh, I, I, would, I struggled to write tunes for about three years, and it's so exciting to have a bunch of new tunes. I realize it's slightly less exciting for you. <laughs> but here we are, we're, and we're, we're going to sell the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, hey, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> and then I'll scare you with the sound. <laughs>
Sullivan? Yeah. Uh -huh. I love that. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> The question was, are you in Selden? That was a band. Was. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Brian still listening to it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> For either you, you or myself. <laughs> I have a question for you. I mean, I know this is Brooklyn and people hang out, but you guys. Does anybody go out in weather like this? I mean, you guys are here, but you guys are just going to go straight home after the no. party. It's kind of warm? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inch <of> ice. On the We have been in it for, since mm, Minneapolis. Well, kind of since Florence, but Minneapolis, Milwaukee. That was 15, 10 below. I guess it's been that here, too. Gross. Not quite that cold. It's gross. <laughs> What's going on? I guess the earth needs to freeze every now and again. So that I don't really. I guess it stores up water. It's <laughs> not down this low. I don't really care. <laughs> it's uh, is that right? It collects all the exhaust and puts it down in the groundwater. <laughs> it's doing everything it can to, to defend itself. That chance. We're gonna fuck you up. Um, okay, more tune. Been informed that this is a bad drum sound. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. I don't have spurs. No. <laughs> I do, it's right here, but I don't have it plugged in. The send is plugged in, but not the return. Do you have the. Zubulian <laughs> ghost. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys are going to see some patching. <laughs> Check this out. Well, come on, get it in there. Like your wedding. <laughs> Uh, Ox return. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Theoretically, if I turn up this knob. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No? A little bit party. Oh, this isn't uh -huh. all the way in. Yeah, there's some reverb. So. Holy shit. <laughs> this is a revolution right here. <laughs> I gotta make the time more though. It shifts all the way up. It should be loud as balls. Oh no, that's the wrong one. That's gonna be on my vocal check. <laughs> this is a mixer. <laughs> These are auxins. It says micro sampler right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think a part with verb on it is better than this part. <laughs> I don't actually have a fart prepared. <laughs> what if it turned into a gross comedy show? <laughs> I didn't know we were seeing Cher Silverman with the beer. <laughs> okay. Blend time. Cool. We'll just leave it like that. <laughs> What is, oh, this is. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs>
thank you very much. Ooh, that's real cool. <laughs> <laughs>
so much. Um, don't want to talk about anything at the phone show. Yeah. Uh, I like your little boxes that your stuff comes in. Did you make them? I made them. Yeah. <laughs> they're um, they're cute. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have time to put legs on mine. I brought the legs and the brackets, a screw gun and the whole thing. But then the first show, I pulled the top off and I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> I think this top is the stand. <laughs> sure enough, it is. So you've been but, carrying the screw gun again the whole time. And then some. I, I, I have a circular saw, a jigsaw. <laughs> well, I, well, I cut. We have a, so there's a there's a hotel room rig that you just wouldn't even believe it. Sometimes we bring it in on a cart. Uh, it has a handle on it, but it's a son of a bitch to carry it for six hours. Um, and people's eyes bug, they don't know, they, you're looking at it and you think, what, what on earth is it? It looks like NASA, but I had to put install speakers in it. So in Lawrence, Kansas, we had a day off, and uh, I went to Home Depot and bought a little tiny shop vac so that I could vacuum up after myself in the hotel room where I cut the wood. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I am really a hillbilly. And we're just, in New York for the night, you know. <laughs> it was a quiet hotel. You mean quiet? We were far, far from, I think, any other people. Or any other picky people. <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, there's, there's still ongoing projects. For instance, we have two songs due on Saturday for the Bizarre Monthly Volume 2 that they'll come out Sunday. So, number one is pretty much finished. I have to cut, recut the vocal. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I really should. I should. <laughs> um, and then number the B side, we're working on it now. T -t -t Tomorrow's going to be a very exciting day for the B side of <laughs> Zon Monthly Volume 2, number 3. <laughs> oh, on this? Go for it. <laughs> we have a spray can. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> um, any other uh, questions? Where are you recording these songs? In the, you're on the road. In the hotel. Okay. Yeah, and then Yuki's mixing. And coincidentally, Yuki has mixed all these other tunes, uh, all the other Bizarre Monthly tunes, or almost all of them. And uh, so. This was the trick. I brought the mixer, <laughs> the mixer out on the road so that uh, I didn't have to finish them before I left. That's not true. Because he can mix remotely. It's fine. I have to check the mixer's real. <laughs> I don't even have to listen to him. I just say, vocal up 1 dB, and then, because my taste is stupid loud vocals. Yuki's taste is normal. <laughs> so yeah, we just are, yeah. So we have that rig, it's got synthesizers and drum machines, and then there's a mic around, and we have a couple of hardware interfaces and laptops. And iPhones. iPhones, yeah. You can do the whole thing on an iPhone. Can you put a picture of it up on your Facebook? Uh, yeah. Have I we should. done that? I resisted. <laughs> I have a picture of Dave sawing in the hotel room. Yeah. I sent the uh, before I before I actually installed the speakers down low. I, I just screwed them to the to the front of the case. It's, it's hard to describe. And I sent it to my manager the, a photo of it. And he's from Nashville, so he loves just fucked up Southern dude stuff. <laughs> and I'm not from the South. But I'm an honorary Southern, fucked up Southern dude. <laughs> so it gave him a lot of pleasure. He, uh, fully 36 hours later, he texted me saying he's still laughing. About the <laughs> I'm glad that, that I can help. What the fuck? Is it easy? see. <laughs> Something's wrong. Hold on. <laughs> That's what's wrong.
we're dilly dallying because we're almost done. This is like, <laughs> That is a good way to warm up. Hurt your liver and then the rest of your body gets warm
And thank you guys so much for coming to a show like this. Um, it has become house show touring, whatever this is actually, it has become my kind of, uh, the main way I do stuff. I play in clubs occasionally, and it's such fun, but this is uh, kind of my bread and butter. So I'm really glad that you guys seem interested in it. Um, are there any questions before we go? There's a video of you on YouTube playing at Cornerstone in like 2001. Could you tell us a little bit about that? I don't know which video it would be, but... Let down, you're covering... Oh, jeez, yeah, right. Um, uh, my friend, well, my friend and booking agent, Trey Manny, and he was in Pedro the Lion at the time, um, they, he just had got asked to fill an hour on some stage at this Christian festival, and so he said, hey, you know, I, he was going to do some, like, ambient guitar stuff, and he's like, would you play some covers and some things, and so I sat down and did that, and, I was very, very skinny and young, and um, I had just cut all my hair off, and uh, I still had hair to cut off. <laughs> Why? Uh, so yeah, I, I I saw that, and I started watching it, and then as soon as I started singing, I had to turn it off right away because I made me feel gross. <laughs> yes, sir. At this point, looking back, what's your favorite Pedro writer? Um. Well, I. I I, I have a least favorite. Uh, <laughs> Winner, Winners is my least favorite, and the other three full lengths are kind of like neck and neck. Um, song for song, I like Achilles Heel the best. It's my least favorite sounding record. Um, the whole thing, or a specific instrument? Um, the whole thing, it just didn't have a... It sounds good, I think, but it... But it just didn't have like a, it was a mishmash of like a production vibe. So like a Keep Swinging has a, that, that production vibe I really like. But the rest of them were, we were, I was, we were just a little aimless. I was aimless, not we. Walsh was just trying to make me happy. <laughs> he was trying to What's the story behind Bearing Witness? Bearing Witness. Oh, how that, why that What's song? Yeah, did you write that through someone else's eyes? Or? No, no, that's through mine. Um, cool. <laughs> My friend Jeff Siler is going to have a drink later. <laughs> but he's from Australia and I never got to see him, but now him and his wife live here. Um, the Australia of America. Uh, I just wrote it from my own perspective. Yeah, um, Yeah. I mean, I guess I'll just explain the song. That record is so didactic that why not? I just should just... Um, to me, it seems funny. I always grew up believing that if you sort of stumped for the Bible, that you were bearing witness to this thing. But you, you weren't. You were just parroting what everybody else said because you don't have, really have direct access to any of that stuff. So it struck me as truer to bear witness to what actually is, and that's a fine lens to to do it through. But tell the truth about what's going on, not protect institutions or people or thinking uh, ways of thinking because you think that it's on the side of rightness or something. You gotta just tell the fucking truth. So that's what that song's about. Um, you guys want beers? Won't play it. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Um, any other questions? Do you want to be another overseas record? Yeah, we're working on another overseas record. Again, they're waiting on me and Will, too. I, I share, he shares Thank the blame. You. Thank you so much. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers to you. Cheers. King of beers. What made you pick Control for the tour? Control is the only record that I will play every single song off of. And it was 10 years old, and I think it was probably also the most popular record, so that was a nice coincidence. Um, but yeah, just all the factors worked. It was, it was such a, an improbable thing that I would agree to play a record all the way through, um, because 
you know, 40 shows of that, of like basically nostalgia, it's just, oh, it's a bad place to be. <laughs> so for y'all, it's just one night of nostalgia. <laughs> but man, it's, it's, a, it's like a throat cutter. I mean, it's really, really a dumb idea. Um, but with control, it was, it actually worked out, and I was worried about that. I was worried that most of the way into the tour, I'd just be like, oh, I don't want to play your songs anymore. But Control is such a messed up record. <laughs> it was really fun. The first, like, the first song, it's just like, oh, cool, we're doing this record. And then songs two, three, and four are kind of like, they're not happy, but they're up tempo, and the people are kind of, you know, having fun. And then <laughs> we get to the last five songs, and it's just like, <laughs> I twist it around the five songs, so by the end, you can just feel the audience getting lower. <laughs> and I like that. I like that. I mean, it's like, no, I, I, it's like a, you know, it's like British sitcoms versus American sitcoms. American sitcoms, they just run it until there's no viewers left. But British sitcoms, they state their purpose and then they take you to a place and they just drop you off. <laughs> and that's perfect. That's how. So it worked out pretty well. It was fun. Um, and I think. There was one, I think it was in Houston. I was at that show. Were you? Yeah. So at the end of, I, maybe you, you might, your perception might be different, but it, it felt like to me that we played the last note and it's, like, it's a big A minor and then we all mute. So it's like this big loud thing and then we all mute and it's just like crickets. And I feel like everybody just stood there <laughs> and then just turned around and kind of <laughs> We weren't trying to play an encore, so it was first. Some people thought there was going to be an encore. Yeah, there was. <laughs> they, you knew they didn't know. Um, so I, it, it worked out fine, but I doubt that on one of them, you're lying, because the headphones record is turning 10 in, in this May, and so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to play the headphones record and the end uh, on tour in May, which is a little bit nostalgic because I don't think I played that record. I don't think I played even all of those songs one time. There was that record had such a short touring life um, that I'm excited to kind of explore those tunes. I haven't done. You should play one of them. Right? One of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, I never wanted to. Do you want to do that tour with you or no? No, I, I asked Walsh, and uh, he respectfully said, fuck off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a grown-ass man, I'm not going to live in a, in a van and <laughs> drink myself to sleep every night crying. And my <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to cry every night. <laughs> Some nights, if you get drunk enough, you just go to sleep before you cry. goal, <laughs> 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 So we have two more songs. I never wanted you.
the song that we usually quote was with is somewhat similar. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna... uh, do both. We'll do, we'll do this one. And, yeah. You guys, thank you so much for coming to this show. So... We'll put the top on Yuki's thing uh, box immediately after the set here and stand there and sell merch to anybody who's interested or if you just want to come and tap me lightly in the nose. <laughs> um, I don't know if you, when I pull the thing out, I, I got a fat lip. Right? Yeah, it, it, uh, you, you know when you, you feel the rush of blood down? It was kind of cool. <laughs> That's not too fat. <laughs> My mustache covers it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so strange. See you guys later. Have fun. <laughs>